Welcome to this video. Net Vista is our opponent, and well, let's let's play Trumpowski. Used to work quite good. In the last one of the last games I played. Um, I don't know the the opening theory, but I think I just push, you know, for controlling the center. And um, yeah, I'm I'm surprised about him taking there because now I have the ideal center position, and I have a nice, uh, you know, open F file for my rook. Um, so, hmm, e5 maybe even. Well, I I think I just keep on developing here. And as you can see now, the F file uh, is very good to uh, for my for my rook. Okay, he threatens to take here and then here on d4. I wonder if I should play e5. I mean, he moved the knight. I don't know uh, three times. Two, one, two, three. Um, now it's the fourth time, so you can see that I'm really well developed and black has problems with the whole queen side. If I get rid of this bishop, I mean he, he just developed his king side, there's nothing. Um, yeah, so I blundered the pawn on d4 at the moment, um, but I mean I have such a huge advantage in development and yeah I can even gain more time kicking the queen again and yeah let's let's attack with all pieces I have and yeah just look at this position so I have just five pawns and black has two pawns more but I'm fully developed so I'm really really excited to attack him here now let's start with bishop c4 okay he will play knight d6 I guess uh, hmm Oh, I tried, you know, to to weaken him here that he plays e6. Then the f6 square would be very, very weak. Does he want to play c5? Yes. Okay. And oh, let's provoke him. Okay. So wow, this I have so many ideas now. What about taking here on g6? He takes back. And then I take the rook. And then knight e6. This looks really good. What can he do against it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's winning, so. Why should I waste more time? He doesn't take queen h5 is uh, very strong. Yeah, the whole problem was that he, he didn't develop his pieces here on the queen side. Hmm. Essentially, I'm uh, although I'm two points down, I have been two down. Uh, I'm, I'm two pieces up because these two pieces are not participating in the game. Whereas my pieces are really. I like all my pieces. Maybe this rook, this rook here would be stronger if it was on the f-file as well, but at the moment, I mean, there are no pieces uh, despite the rook here on the queen side, uh, on, on the king side of, of black, and um, so the king is really, really lonely. Just count the pieces on, on the right side, uh, or right half of the board. Even if you add the pawns, just one, two, three, four, four black pieces, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't believe that black can survive this. Does it help? I mean, I still play 96. Yes, so this was really a nice demonstration of, uh, of an advantage in development. Although, I mean, I, I have to admit, I, I played too quick here. The, op the whole opening was a bit artificial of, of, of uh, Black, I think. Um, if you count the moves of the Black Knight, um, let's do it from the beginning. So, one move, um, two moves, three moves, and here we go, it's a fourth move. Uh, four moves, and we played both 11 moves. So, it's, it's, um, the, the whole development was uh, very, very slow of black, and um, it's just natural in my point of view that even if you lose a pawn like I did here and I mean you, you, you need to see that although I lost uh, the pawn um, black exchanged virtually his best piece it was uh, the bishop here this this bishop was uh, one of the best pieces of black he exchanged it um, and he won a t uh, when one uh, pawn but by winning the pawn and even the other pawn, he lost so much time. I mean, why did he take here on e5? It's not really necessary that he does something like this. I wouldn't take there, because this bishop is also very important to protect the king. He was really, really greedy, and um, yeah, I could strengthen my position here. And um, yeah, in this position, I really felt quite good. And um, yeah, just keep this in mind. Development is very, very important. Um, and yeah, then then try to attack the side of the board where uh, where you have an advantage like in uh, in development and I really had a strong piece play on the king side here I had many many pieces just all eyeing here on the king you know the bishop here is eyeing on g6 h7 the knight f7 h7 the queen is eyeing on h7 the rook on f7 so yeah this uh, I think is uh, is a very good uh, opportunity then uh, to attack black. Thanks for watching.